As we were saying, Wiggins was the passenger in a van that was pulled over May 14th. Now, uh, Mr. Wiggins uh, was asked to get out of the car by police, according to him. Uh, he was handcuffed. At that point, he was set up against his van. Police started to search him, but they say he was not under arrest, but he was being detained. At that point, they went to check his shoes. He had some boots on, and they started pulling on his boots, and that's when Wiggins fell over, literally hit his chin first on the ground, sh uh, suffered a fractured jaw, lost four teeth, almost severed his tongue when he bit it off, uh, almost, and then needed five surgeries. Uh, his wife went to the hospital at this point, and an officer there said, you know what, there's dash cam video from the patrol car of this incident. You need to take a look at that video. You can get a copy of that video. So the Wiggins, is, they've been trying to get that video, and so far they just can. And that's why they held a news conference this morning. Here's Mrs. Wiggins to let you know her perspective. When I got to the hospital, there was uh, Officer Quisenberry there with who accompanied my husband at the hospital and he was shaking his head and he was apologizing to me. He said he was so sorry about what had happened and he told me that there was a tape recording of the incident and he also told me that I could get a copy. And as we mentioned, they try to get that copy uh, through the city attorney's office and their, their request for that video was denied. Uh, I do know that the Wiggins do not have plan to, to, to sue the city right now, but all they do is all they really want is a copy of this video. I did speak with Hampton Police Sergeant Jason Price a, a couple minutes ago. He says that the division is committed to transparency and he's right now working on a release with all the information that he is able to release and possibly even that video. Of course, this is a story we're going to stay on for the rest of the day. We'll have the latest for you starting on Wavy News 10 at 4. But now that's the latest here in Hampton. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.